The start of the Cobalt 400 from Las Vegas Motor Speedway was delayed a short time, hoping to end the day with his first win at his hometown track. Once the skies clear on lap 30, and race leader Kurt Busch was busted for speeding on pit road. Pit road, anyways, will leave the field to green on the restart. Speeding penalty of those penalties: AJ Allmendinger, Austin Dillon, Brad Keselowski. Fast forward to lap 198 and Kyle Larson slaps the wall with the two, slid the car up into the wall. Larson was able to keep it from spinning out. During the ensuing caution, we saw NASCAR's wild weather day continue as a push goes to the point. Kyle made a move from six on the restart, moving to the high to take the lead from Penske teammates Brad Keselowski and Joey Logano of Chase Elliott. That created a chain reaction wreck as several good cars were torn up in the biggest incident of the day. With six laps to go, Brad Keselowski and outlast the hometown kid Rowdy Bush. Keselowski goes on to win the Cobalt Cup career. Next weekend, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series heads to Phoenix International Raceway.